Wolverine. The most famous of the X-Men who due to both his unique powers and adamantium covered bones is granted strength and capabilities well beyond any human. Wolverine or James Logan was born to a wealthy Canadian family in the late 19th century. He was frail and constantly sick from his overactive mutant immune system that eventually was triggered to its full potential after he saw his father killed by his real father, Thomas Logan. Wolverine's healing abilities allow him to heal from any injury in a maximum time of around three minutes, scaling down to under one second whenever he doesn't have to regenerate a vital organ. You see, for injuries like when we see Logan get shot with a musket in the American Civil War, that typically inflicts significant tissue damage due to the large caliber and mass of the bullet around a little to the right of the middle of his chest. This would break his ribs, puncture a lung, possibly rip through his heart and ascending aorta, but instead of dying very quickly, he just jogs right through it, being shot by a cannon that would tear his torso, intestines, and spines to bit a moment later, healing from this in something like a minute. Then on August 6, 1945, before having adamantium grafted to his skeleton, Logan was at or near ground zero, close enough to be practically standing underneath the B-29 plane that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima, being subject to intense levels of radiation, a blast wave traveling at supersonic speeds, or just over the speed of sound, being 784 miles per hour or 1,262 kilometers per hour, and surviving temperatures briefly reaching 30 to 40,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 3 to 4 times the surface of the sun, which probably made the 1,500 degree Fahrenheit liquid adamantium that was pumped into him easy enough to take. Logan has survived having his heart ripped out and then eaten by another mutant, which while bleeding out all one and a half gallons of blood that a typical adult male has in seconds, Logan regrew his heart and all the necessary blood cells he drained while waltzing through a snow-covered forest, scaring the snitzel out of the guy. Wolverine has been pin-cushioned, or had a massive amount of spikes pierced through his entire body at once by venom, with Wolverine walking back through the wall, regrowing every organ in his body at once while trash-talking venom at the same time. Wolverine's healing factor and will to fight is so strong that while being fired upon by hundreds of rounds of adamantium bullets while riding a motorcycle into the bullet storm, blasted through the torso with a minigun and being repeatedly shot in the head, Logan has shown that his healing factor always allows his body to keep functioning, to keep moving, even when pieces of his brain, like his freaking cerebellum that is responsible for controlling movement in the human body, is destroyed. His healing factor allows other regions of Logan's brain to quickly take up the missing parts responsibilities, and it seems that his remaining organs and cells also operate in such a fashion as to make sure he can still move and function as a whole until whatever is missing returns. But more than nuclear warheads, more than having his organs ripped out, Logan has been shot by a disintegration gun that split apart his atoms, basically vaporizing everything but his bones, with Logan recovering in minutes to save the remaining hostages and a young boy. But perhaps the most baffling is that Wolverine has even come back from a single drop of blood, that all he needs is a single cell, a single strand of DNA to be left for him to regenerate from, as long as there is enough resources in his immediate environment for him to pull from. Equally interesting is that with all the repeated disintegrations, Logan's memories seem to always come back, being stored in his very cells, his very DNA, even before he had adamantium bonded to his skull. The memories that he does lose, however, actually come from a side effect of his powers. Many of Logan's most traumatic memories he doesn't remember in full, which is thanks to his healing factor, stuffing all of the most terrible things that have ever happened to him deep down into his subconscious. And this makes Logan what we would call a partial amnesiac, where until he is triggered by something, like going to the spot in Japan where he had his heart removed, he doesn't remember everything that happened. While having adamantium grafted to his bones, Logan's healing factor is actually hampered, nerfed, and takes seemingly over twice the time to heal him that it once did, as he heals from bombs and vaporization in minutes rather than seconds. But thanks to his adamantium skeleton, World War Hulk says he can't kill Wolverine. Even picking Wolverine up, try as he might, Hulk cannot rip Wolverine's skeleton in half. But man, can he punish him. Wolverine's skeleton 
Bolton is so strong that he has been punched into orbit and back, smacked and shot by Thor who has disintegrated Deadpool, has been kicked over the distance of five states, or over the 746 miles or 1200 kilometers between Westchester, New York to the state of Georgia, all without damaging his skeleton. Wolverine's claws allow him to stab through anything and cut through most anything. Like steel walls that are a foot thick, at times hold tanks, he has severed chains that Hercules himself couldn't break, and the only substances that Wolverine seems to not be able to cut through is Captain America's vibranium shield and Uru, the magical metal that makes up Thor's hammer. Thanks to his long lifespan, Logan is by far one of the most experienced fighters and martial artists on the planet. He has trained as a ninja, samurai, super spy, and is familiar with pretty much every single striking and grappling style ever created, and created a style that he predominantly uses based off of his healing factor that basically sees him ruthlessly attacking his opponents with no concern for defense whatsoever. He casually beats Danger Room exercises on all max settings and is noted by people like Captain America to be flawless in his techniques. His senses and smell are so good that he can use them to find anyone, including Mystique, anywhere in the world in a matter of hours. Wolverine is immune to every disease, poison, given a long enough time span for his body to adapt and reject whatever it is, which includes vampirism, lycanthropy, and literal super diseases that made him allergic to his own hair, blood, skin, oxygen, his own thoughts, as he also had some or frankly most of the worst diseases known to man added into the mix, only for him to come back and give the person a very bad day. And thanks to his healing factor and adamantium covered bones, from some basic calculations on the strength of the average male being able to lift 135 to 175 pounds or 80 kilograms, and different feats of strength that Logan has performed over the years, he is around 4 to 10 times as strong as the average human, lifting anywhere from 800 pounds or 363 kilograms to 2 tons. These strength numbers, however, might be a little low, as we see him pick up and throw a fully loaded elevator that on average, if he's in the stomping grounds of New York City, and this massive elevator is something like a freight elevator, would weigh fully loaded around 80,000 pounds or over 36,000 kilograms. Logan has also swam into the water, and despite some very strong drag forces and the resistance that the water makes, fought, grabbed, and then threw a 2,400 pound or 1,088 kilogram shark out of the water, hurling it through the air like a rag doll. Perhaps the only weakness, the only way to stop him that Logan has, other than alcohol, as he can still get drunk for a short time, is perhaps more simple than we may think. Over the years, I've analyzed characters' powers like the science behind how Wolverine's claws actually work, but I've really enjoyed the power, the strength videos that I've done over the years on our favorite characters. While characters like Magneto can and have ripped out Wolverine's entire skeleton, Wolverine's healing factor causes him to constantly bite off more than he can chew, and this is where two opportunities to stop Wolverine come in. While his adamantium skeleton makes him exceptionally vulnerable to high-powered magnets that could nail him in place, Wolverine's two big weaknesses are for one, his healing factor has a limit. There are times that groups of enemies or a really skilled fighter have caused him so much damage, pumped him full of so many bullets that his healing factor reaches a limit and shorts out, causing Wolverine to become something of a vegetable for however long it takes him to fully recover. Add some poison into the mix and you could knock him out for hours to possibly days. And that's where Wolverine's second and major weakness comes in. One of the only real ways to take the guy out is to drown him. To place Wolverine in an incredibly thick metal room and hope that he doesn't claw his way out in time. In which case, he will be placed in a state of suspended animation. That is, until his body senses the presence of oxygen, which would cause him to fully wake up. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. According to Professor X, the best way to deal with Wolverine is to avoid attacking him head on at all costs, and instead to decapitate him and then quickly get his head far, 
far away. With us playing the game of click on Wolverine's glowing face in the remaining three seconds you got to see how Wolverine's claws work. Remember though, it's all a trick. See you in the next one.